Welcome everyone to a demonstration of the ELISP Repo Kit. ERK has integrations to streamline development and ERK can quickly set up new projects that work with those integrations. We're going to install the package off of Milpa and then demonstrate ERK on ERK. ERK streamlines things like reloading the package, running the tests, or generating and previewing the manual. Now let's use ERK new to generate a new project from a template called ERK basic. ERK new is going to ask us for some strings to replace and then it's going to look at our git config to fill in some of the answers. It configures git and then takes us to the changes so we can review the string replacements. The ERK basic template is a complete but minimal project that implements all of the integrations. If we follow the instructions from the readme or from the manual, it's even going to tell us how to set up the repository, CI, and a summary of how to prepare for publishing to Milpa. Let's load our project and run the command, laser keys hello. Hello. ERK jump features will jump between the package and test features. If we're not in a feature, it goes to the root feature. Let's change the greeting and then reload the package and see the changes. Hi. Let's add a new function. It's going to return foo. Then we're going to use ERK jump defs to jump to the test definition. We didn't write a test definition yet, so ERK is going to offer to write one. Let's run the test with ERK ERT project. Oh no, we broke our other test. Let's go back to the test, fix the message, and then rerun. The reloading is automatic. Ta da! Let's take a look at our laser keys info manual. ERK find manual will take us to the source for the manual. We can add a new heading and then ERK Preview will automatically export and show us the changes in info mode. A new node with all sorts of exciting content. Similarly, we can preview the README with ERK Preview README, and we can go to its source with ERK Find README. Using org includes, the manual in the readme can share information. If we add a new include, linking back to our new node, and then update the preview, we can see the new node. This would show up on the GitHub homepage. Manuals and readmes, a never-ending source of exciting information. Going back to our jump commands, ERK jump features, if you're not in a feature, will just take you to the root feature. So that's it for the demonstration. We're gonna unpack what we saw a little bit, and then we're gonna talk about why you wanna develop packages, where ERK is going, and what Positron's doing. In the demonstration, we customized a new package that was cloned and renamed from a template called ERK Basic. We used lightweight integrations on top of built-in packages like ERT and Project, and auto-compile from Tarsius. There was an implicit module unloading and reloading, Paths were automatically configured so that loading the package and viewing the manual and info didn't require any extra steps. Discovery heuristics and standard conventions enable do-what-I-mean behavior to always get into a productive workflow. ERK is still new, but it's being used every day, so if something breaks or I find ways to remove steps, it's getting better. After it gets stable, I'll update the version to 1.0 and begin properly deprecating changes, so watch out for name changes. ERK started because Positron needed a way to quickly set up projects. We needed CI, and we wanted to keep the door open to doing non elisp integrations. Now that it's starting to mature, the goal is to make complex projects easy to set up, make common workflows fast, and make them obvious so that they happen all the time. Now let's talk about why you as a user, whether you want to distribute or not, want to write package elisp code. First of all, the byte compiler doubles as an excellent linter. All by itself, byte compiling is going to make everything you write better. Package code is a lot more conducive to testing. 
you can isolate and reproduce to get value that keeps paying off. Reloading a package is a lot more predictable and you don't have to restart. Properly declared dependencies and well-defined loading order are going to demystify things. Properly packaged code is usually higher quality than used package code, so when you read other people's packages to find ideas, you're going to find ways to make your e-list work in more situations, keeping it from breaking sporadically. So to summarize a value proposition, with very little investment, you're going to write better, more sustainable ELISP, and the ways that your code gets better will quickly take you from fiddling with configuration to dominating configuration. If you decide you want to distribute, CI is going to be really helpful. Good CI makes it easy for the contributor to know that they didn't break anything silly, and that it's going to be easy and fast for the maintainer to accept the changes even if they haven't read the code in six months. So what's next? We want GitHub page generation so that the manual content can be discoverable online. We want to integrate more kinds of tests and streamline running them in different ways, with different versions of Emacs, and with different third-party dependencies. And of course, just keep polishing the bread and butter. We want to support more template types, such as literate org programming projects that make it easy to check the tangling and exports. For dynamic libraries and modules for extending ELISP, we can streamline setting up CI so that you can publish the pre-compiled modules and users don't need to download your build toolchain. And finally, we want more custom templates with alternative CI and dependency management. Open an issue if you'd like to maintain a template. This video itself is part of my infrastructure for ongoing work. We want to do more content on stuff that gets new users into more sustainable, advanced Emacs use faster, and some content aimed at application development with text and keyboard UI primitives. Because that's the kind of stuff I'm building, I can just document some of it along the way. PRs are welcome, and feedback about this channel is helpful. But if you want to help out and don't want to use Nix and GitHub Actions, the easiest way to contribute is just to use your comparative advantage and hit our GitHub Sponsors page linked below. Positron is working on important problems for consumer open source. We're creating ways for successful projects to provide support at scale and ways for the market to react to consumer demand. The innovation we are bringing to the marketplace will move the ball forward. So that's it. If you like this video, smash like and subscribe. That'll be $13.99. Conditions and terms apply. And remember to check Melpa before naming your new package. Testing 1, 2, 3. Do I need to filter out my refrigerator? Is my voice an air conditioner?